Well, we've got a saying that goes, early to bed, early to rise, makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Now, a saying is just a really old uh, group of words that people have been saying for years and years and years. And one of the reasons why is because it makes sense. And so it's just turned into something really famous that people say a lot. Uh, we also call it a proverb, so maybe you've heard that before. And it is good advice to get to bed early and then wake up early, and it makes you healthy, wealthy, and wise. Who doesn't want that? If you're healthy, your body feels good, and we need that. And if you're wealthy, it means you have a lot of money. Maybe you're so uh, energetic that you get out there and work even harder and do better at your job and you make more money. And of course if you're wise, you're not only smart, but you make good decisions with the information you have. Mm -hmm. Again, this is a saying. Some other examples would be an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Or if we're talking about <laughs> getting up early, we could say the early bird gets the worm. Mm -hmm. But again, early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. That is a very common saying. But with things like last minute reviews or parties to go to, well, we all need to stay up late sometimes. So yeah, it's a good idea to get to bed early, but sometimes we just can't do that. Our boss has asked us to work overtime, and I know many of you out there work until maybe 10 or 11 or 12 at night. So sometimes you just don't have a choice. Yeah, I know a couple of times I had to work until 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., and it's really hard, and because I had to get up the next day and go and manage a department. I couldn't sleep the whole day. I had to get up. So I know what it feels like, but we've got some tips for you. How can you make it through the next day when you have to stay up late? Well, what we have for you is some practical advice. If something's practical, it means you can actually use it. It's just not there to look pretty or to smell good. You can actually use it in your life. This isn't very practical. What can we do with this? It's just a, a group of flowers, but they're pretty, right? Well, we're going to give you some advice that you can actually put to work and use in your life. Now, Tom, what's advice? Well, advice is just some useful information that somebody might give you. We could also say it's a tip. So, for example, if you're having trouble at work or something, you might ask your friend for advice. What do you think I should do? I don't know how to solve this problem. Well, here the word advice is our word power word for today. Let's take a closer look. Word power. Welcome to word power. Today's word is advice. Today we read some pieces of advice about how to stay awake and active when you stay up late. Advice is a noun and means an opinion someone gives you about a decision you need to make or about something you need to do. So, if someone tells you to study harder, they are giving you advice. For example, the coach's good advice helped the basketball team to win the game. The verb form of advice is advise. When you tell someone what you think they should do, you are advising them. For instance, I advise Jim to visit Pisa when he goes to Italy. That's all the time we have for word power. Thanks for listening. So what's some of this practical advice? Well, the first thing we can tell you is that you need to get a good night's sleep the night before. So if you know you have a test coming up the next day, make sure you sleep really well the night before the day that you have to stay up late into the night. It will help give you some more energy. So you have to prepare yourself to stay up late. You can't just do it that day. You have to think about it 
in advance or ahead of time and prepare yourself and that way you'll be active longer. Right, you'll be ready for the next day. You'll have lots of energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, for teenagers, seven or eight hours sleep should usually be enough. A teenager is a young person between the ages of 13 and 19, okay? Junior high school kids and high school kids and usually about seven or eight hours of sleep a night should be enough, that should be sufficient. Now, something else you need to think about is staying away from rich and fatty foods. If it's rich and fatty, it has a lot of fat in it or sugar and it's not really good for your body. The examples we give you here are things like cake and hamburgers, cookies, chips, things like that, deep fried foods. Don't eat those. Mm -hmm. Right, so you want to stick to fruits, vegetables, and grains before your late night or the night that you have to stay up late. So to stick to something means you keep using it, okay? Uh, for example, I've been driving Nissan cars and somebody said, well, Tom, you should get a Toyota, but I like my Nissan. Mm. I'm going to stick to Nissan. <laughs> well, fruit, vegetables, and grains are all great because they fill you up and they don't make you sleepy. When something fills you up, it makes you feel full, like you're not hungry anymore. Now, you know what fruit and vegetables are. Grains are just different seeds of crops like wheat and rice and uh, corn, things like that. Those are grains. So think about those tips. They'll help you stay awake a little bit longer. Okay, everybody, somebody you can never go to sleep on is our Chinese teacher. Let's listen now.